Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you the highest win rate mid laner in all of League of Legends right now. He also has one of the highest pick rates and that is Pantheon mid. Biggest reason for it is he can use Corruption Potion really effectively. You're gonna want Time Warp Tonic, Biscuit Delivery with Conquer, Triumphant, Tenacity, Coup de Grasse with Double Adaptive. And uh, then you're gonna want Armor or Magic Resist depending on the matchup scenario. So I'm gonna go for Magic Resist. She's poking me with an auto a bit. I just want to hit level two before, so I put down a few autos on the minions. Preferably on the same one, so you can get all three easily. Now we're going to hit level two before. That's fine. She's sitting really far back. She not, hasn't even used an ability yet. She's just watching. Miss that one. Miss my key. I was trying to get that minion. Normally get your W at this point. You're gonna actually max your W last. But you're going to um, get at level two. You're gonna max your E second, Q first. She's gonna have her charm now. I'm gonna have to play more into my minions. Bop her with her Q. I'm gonna start using corruption potions. I'm starting to miss more and more HP. Bopper with our E. We're gonna miss Cannon Minion like a champ. We have our passive stacked up. Bopper with a Q. We're gonna kill her here in a second. We'll flash like a W. Flash on her here in a second. She's chugging the potion, so she's starting to heal up a little more than I'd want her to. want to get this under her turret you don't typically want to actually throw your spirit puts it on full cooldown it's better off only throwing it if it's to secure the kill You're better off just poking with it her wave's gonna push to me now it will or sh I should say should. It's, it was going to reinforce first even before I stepped up. I'm going to try to bop with a Q. The wave's in a better spot. I have Corruption Potion advantage. Biscuit advantage. Passive up. I'll jump on her here in a second. Q into E. We block pretty much all of her damage. Beautiful. We can take another heavy trade here. I think my W's up before her charm is. Yeah, she's backing off. She's waiting till her charm's up. She's kind of low on mana though. I can basically freeze this wave on her. She has too many minions. It's built up huge. She hasn't been able to manipulate the wave and her jungler hasn't come to help break the freeze. She's going to have to reset now. Unless she wants to die. I'll jump in on her and if she actually steps up. Should be a kill. Oof, we got it. Nice. I'm going to go ahead and reset right now. I... Oh, the minions are actually hitting me instead of my minions, which is strange. Because the minions are coded to hit what's hitting them. And I was backing. But sometimes minions can get feisty. I want to get back to lane at the same time she does or before. That way she can't have time to manipulate the wave i also backed when she had a two or three minion advantage and my minions had less hp so her minions are going to keep mulching into mine which is going to cost her a lot of gold and xp and i'll come back and still get the majority of them so we're at a huge advantage here if i switch to the smash ultimate maybe one day maybe one day i prefer project m at the moment smash ultimate's all right it's just a little they've removed some of the mechanics in that game that I enjoy using. We'll let it mulch into our wave a bit. It's getting a little closer to our turret than I would like it to be. She just skewed the wave, so I gotta kinda counter push it. 
She just blew her charm. I don't want this mini to get any closer than he already is. Got him. She saw his four minion advantage. Oh my goodness. I don't know what that minion's doing. This caster creep just cheated me. I'll use a biscuit. Typically you want to use biscuits when you're half health or lower. I'm using it in this case. I want to save my corruptions to actually trade with her. The extra damage. She's being forced to use her spells to farm. If When you are pressuring your opponents, it sets it up to where they can't even really trade with you anymore. They're, they're having to do things just to farm. She's out of mana is the thing. Oh, no, no. No, 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 no. I'm actually fine. I can solo her. She's out of mana is the thing. She can't really do much. She's hitting corruption potions, though. I'll shove it. Oh, it's going to drop me into the turret. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I think that was a crit. If they're low enough on HP, you actually crit them with your Qs. I think it's 15 or 20% HP. Yeah, it's 20%. If they're below 20% health, it's a crit. That was also my passive. When your passive is fully stacked, your Qs absolutely rip. So when you have your five procs from using five attacks, whether it's autos or spells, doesn't matter. We're going to reset. We don't want to stay for the plate. We're very low. We want to back and get our corruption potion. We'll go ahead and pick up a vampiric, this, and a control word. We're going to keep trying to manipulate the wave. As a melee champion against a range matchup, you have to really think about what you're doing when it comes to wave management against melee champions. You can usually just bully them down, poking them with Qs, and then you start W, auto, Q, E combos on them. But in these range matchups, if you just shove the waves into them, you'll never really get a chance to trade with them. So you normally want to freeze it on them. Otherwise, you'll never... Oh, she's dead. Bop. You see that damage, though? We, we really killed her with just three abilities. No Ignite. We did have Corruption Potion on, which helped a little bit, but still. It's really nasty. Pantheon's way too strong right now. He's been a very strong mid laner for the past, like, six patches, about. And now he's still, like, the top win rate, pick rate mid lane champion. At this point, once you are level six, if, if you're killing your laner, you want to look to take turret plates. If you cannot take turret plates because you don't have the minions or because the enemy jungler's there, then you'd want to look to roam with your R. So as long as you're getting something of high value after you kill your opponent, you're doing just fine. Might be able to get a double kill bot. Ezreal's by himself though, so I'm not super eager about that. I'd rather just wait. Go ahead and get a word down here. Also word over here since Pantheon is in the area. I don't know what these guys are doing. They, did they actually just go for that? I thought they were going to run away. I didn't think they are actually going to do that. He's a goner. Well played. It's a double kill for us. I didn't think the enemies were really going to go for that. But they did. I thought they were going to pull off. They really wanted it. I'm going to lose one wave off of that. Not the end of the world. Oh, I gotta blow my nose. Prepare yourself. We can carry this game easily. Even if you don't get kills in lane phase on Pantheon, if you can just outfarm your opponent, you can make massive plays with your R's. We can Corruption Potion speed up too, or since we have the uh, Time Warp Tonic. Pantheon already has faster base movement speed than most champs. For example, Ari's 330 base movement speed, I'm 345, so I could run her down and stun her. And if I turn on my Corruption Potion, I'll be moving even faster. Got her. See, there's nothing she can do now. What she needs to do is get armor, get Seeker's arm guard. If, if you're ahead and you have lethality and they don't have any armor, you're going to cut through them like tissue paper. You're essentially doing true damage to them. So the, the game is over for this Ari at this point. We'll try to put them out of their misery here. Do the kind thing. No reason to stall this game out. Nice Herald. That was a really good Herald from uh, Shivana. I, 
think she still has her uh, her R. Got her. Nara's dead. I need to get out of here. Nara might TP to a ward or something. I'll go ahead and take this. Nice. Go ahead and reset. We're sitting on a lot of gold. R is up in 40. We can pick up Eclipse. Pantheon has some outrageous win rates, like I already mentioned. Ooh. Yeah, let's do this, guys. Someone needs to hit him first, though. Why is nobody trying to get him? <laughs> uh, I don't. Th I don't think my teammates realized I was there. I got. I was getting a little bit nervous that we weren't gonna pull the trigger on that. What is? Why are they? Ch Come on now, just let us recall. I'm sitting on 4k gold. I just want to reset, man. So yeah, these, the win rates for Pantheon's Eclipse and the Sterix fluctuates from 67% to, it's like, uh, 67 to 76% win rate. Like, this build path is actually just busted. I would like to get boots first. I already have, uh, Tenacity. They are, yeah, they're double AP. I'll go ahead and get Merc Treads. So if you want to have anywhere from a 67 to a 76% win rate, go Eclipse and Hysterics. Then you would typically go for Black Cleaver or for a GA. Black Cleaver or GA would be your standard item at that point. Black Cleaver, if they have a bunch of armor, GA, if you just want more damage and you want some armor, which is probably what I'll end up getting. I'm gonna have to flash. I don't want to die for this. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I might need a recall. Unless I can heal up off their blue buff, blue buff or something. Yeah. You can also go Hex Drinker if they're really heavy AP. They only have two AP. I don't think I need it. I need this though. Got it. I'll just go for the Gromp instead. I don't even need to get kills. I just need to make sure I'm still getting resources so we don't start to lose our lead. Oh, also, something I didn't mention is you can cancel your E early. Canceling your E early can be a, a really easy way to get more damage because at the end it does damage. It's like a little boof at the end. And especially if your Q is coming off a cooldown, ending your E early to like mix in a Q can be, definitely be worth it. The only time you typically want to do a full E is if the rest of your spells are on cooldown or if you really need to hold on to your E so you don't die from their damage output. Oh, I think I'm dead here. Yep, I was kind of out. <laughs> My bad. I was out in the middle of nowhere. Even if I am fed, I can't fight four of them at once. That's why in Pantheon, you typically split push and then you ult to fights, similar to what a Shen would do. You're just more like a high damage value Shen. Did you give some love tips too? I don't know, man. You gotta, you gotta find a love guru, I guess. You gotta watch those kissing pranks on YouTube. Oh, those are the best. That's how you learn what the ladies like. You gotta play rock, paper, scissors and kiss them. If there's one thing I've learned from YouTube pranks. <laughs> oh man. All right, we'll do a deep R here. We have our E, we should be fine. Got corruption potion on. Got the Ari. All right, let's turn around and get Senna. She's wandering around. We have two more corruption potions. I think she's over here. 
Where are oh, Santa? I can smell you. And it stinks. She's coming, she's coming around the corner. I don't think I can actually catch up. She's got Swifties. She's really freaking fast. That's outrageous how fast Senna is. Oh well. We'll go ahead and take Jarvin's camps. These cues are chunking. Get him, boys! They're cocky. They're walking up to me as if I don't have 11 kills. It's, it's making me feel disrespected. <laughs> oh man, I just missed my cue. No wonder they're not giving me respect. Oof. I'm gonna e speed up to him. Oh, I tried to Q him. It canceled my Q. I, do you see how my Q's on cooldown, but it didn't hit him? I guess the initial animation, it can be canceled even with a, if you don't go to charge it. See how I canceled my E early? Your E's don't block turret shots anymore. I was back when Pantheon was the highest win rate champion in the game by a long margin as support. He was picking band support, he got through, you automatically lost. Because the E used to block turret shots. Made him the best champ in the game. Because your E, when you're moving forward, you move at like full speed. I'm pretty sure. But when you're moving backwards, you move like way slower. Like it's a really good offensive tool. It's not the best defensive tool if you don't have anything to run to. We'll go ahead and get the Guardian Angel. Eh, you know, let's just get Black Cleaver. Black Cleaver is really, really strong. Yeah, so we're moving at 390. You can E, you're moving at 390, but the moment you start moving backwards, you lose like over half your movement speed. So just keep that in mind. It's so like when I was under the turret, I canceled my E when I wanted to move out. And then I, unless you're going to get hit by something really big, like if they're going to hit you with a really big ability, I don't even know what. Like, let's say you're getting hit by the enemy AD carry. It might be worth keeping your E up, moving slower backwards, even if you are taking the turret damage. You normally don't have to worry about it, though. It's just a couple situations where you might have to make that split-second decision. I think I'm just dead here. They are so much faster than I am. How are they so much faster than I am? This Are you guys seeing this? I'm not I'm not a slow champ. I have high base movement speed and I'm also on my corruption potions. That's bizarre. Ari doesn't even have tier 2 boots. J4 doesn't have tier 2 boots. Damn. I'm not that fast, man. They got that set of AOE speed up. This game's definitely losable. If they keep killing us like this, they have really good scaling off of the Fed Senna and uh, the Fed Zerath. Lots and lots of range. It makes it challenging for me to get in on them when they have that much range to push me off of fights. Oof. I got a split, but I'll ult in the fights. We can't fight like this. If Draxel, Draxel, Wincon. Jesus, Draxel, Wincon. If we can get this last dragon, we automatically win. I need to avoid these weird fights, though. Our team is behind as a whole, just because they're bot lane so strong. So let's avoid those fights unless we have to take them. They're gonna lose bot turret. Send his mid lane. They're not even trying to defend this. Right, we're gonna lose our mid turret. Our mid turret is untouched, pretty much. My R is still on cooldown. It's like, dude, they got a pick? Alright.
I'm coming, boys! My stuff's on cooldown. I can't actually do anything. How sad. Dodge the RA charm like a champ. I'm just in such a weird spot. Well, that landed, no way. How is nobody dying? Die! Jeez. <laughs> Everyone's getting away from me. Oh, I don't know why Shivana didn't take it. We need one more minute before Dragon here. Alright, full black cleaver. We'll go ahead and pick up some... She's got a lot of true damage. I think I just go for Kemting at this point. I don't know if Guardian Angel would be worth it. It only helped me against the Gnar and the Jarvan, and even then, Gnar has a surprising amount of magic damage on his. I believe it's his W passive. It's like every three times he hits you. A lot of magic damage. Jarvan doesn't really do much damage to me in general. It's pretty much just already true damage, and these two goons killing me. Gotta fight for soul. That's how we're gonna win this game. Corruption potion speed up into this guy. Oh no. They already they already got a kill. Oh nice. Okay, that's worth. Shivana got a huge pick. Bonked her with a Q. She's so screwed. I'm moving really fast on corruptions. Okay, Nar just slowed me. Never mind. Yeah, I don't know. What, I don't know. Jordan's out of his mind, thinking he's gonna win that fight. Okay, we, let's just get a dragon. I don't want to lose this game. We're so far ahead, 16-2. I just want to win it. I don't know. STIX Pepe hype. Final TF. Thank you for the two months, man. I don't know how I didn't get in that pit. I got sent off to the side. Does your E stack conquer? I believe it does. My Q stack it, my W stacks it. I believe my E multi stacks it. At least at the bare minimum, it stacks it twice off the initial poke damage and then the final push damage. Pantheon stacks conquer really fast, guys. It's his best keystone by far. Oh my god, look at that damn 500 damage, dude! That's one auto attack! How is that okay? 500 damage. That is disgusting. One auto. That hurts. Can we play some NAR sometime? I already have a NAR video up. He's pretty solid. Sen is so strong. She's got higher range. I think they're on Baron. They're going to take it really fast with Senna too. Senna's like with the with the item choices, Senna's not how she's was meant to be played. She does insane damage. A lot of consistent damage too. It's not just like pokey damage, it's like straight raw damage. Do you see that range? Like, how is that okay? Oh, take it, Senna, take it. We got him, boys, don't worry. We put that dirty 80 carry player in the dirt. Got a lot out of that. Got the kill on Senna. Nuni, you're blocking me, dude. <laughs> he, he wasn't trying to, but on that last one, I couldn't move out of the way. Uh, we lived. Well played, guys. Let's get out of here. Let's reset. I'm a split bot lane, I think. 
Uh, I guess I kind of want to keep my corruption potion actually. I really wanted to keep it. It's probably worth getting rid of it at this point though. For the uh, time warp tonic, it's really nice to have, but leaving base when I could have a full item is kind of painful. You get you still get stunned is the thing. Like your shield, your E is really really strong for trades and tanking, but they can still CC you is the thing. And they have the Senna Snares, Wrath Stun, Ari Charm to wear. If I do just stand there and tank with my E, I'm probably going to get wrecked. Oh, I think that's GG. My teammates found a really big fight. Yeah, that's GG. I'll go ult mid. I'll go right now. Well played, guys. I had to watch my spacing so the turret didn't shoot me. Oh, God. Maybe it's not GG. Zarath being a little turd. Alright, that's GG guys, well played. If you enjoyed this Pantheon video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.